large is the average enterprise WAN pipe in enterprises? Today, the person asking happens to be most interested in the manufacturing industry, but I think it's an interesting question, broadly speaking. Uh, what would that average rate be increasing to? Uh, how quickly is that going to happen? And, and what are the drivers that will uh, make us see more bandwidth out there? Uh, Phil, I'll go back to you again, because I know you, uh, you had some opinions on this, and, and I know you work with a lot of clients. Yeah. I'll answer the fourth one, what it will drive the bandwidth increases um, off-premises resources, so private cloud and public cloud. Um, that, that's changing things a lot. So your aggregate band, WAN link on your private WAN for all your 100 sites, you know, that's going to have to increase uh, overall and the, the pipes to each of your individual sites. For manufacturing, maybe that's not necessarily the case. I'm not 100% sure how to answer 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 that what is the average I, I don't know but i know um seeing a couple hundred megs three four hundred megs in an individual wan um specific link and then several gigs over a private one that's that's normal that's common and i'm seeing uh, you know my customers uh many customers and some that you wouldn't think would because they're just not huge huge you know looking at gig pipes to the internet and their and their private wan aggregate from the provider is 10 20 gigs so um i don't know what the average is but it's it always surprises me when I hear a customer saying, yeah, we need to upgrade our edge routers and things because this is the bandwidth we're going with. I'm like, holy cow. Um, but I think the adoption of uh, whether it's uh, uh, private or public cloud is a, is a big driver there. Carol, do you have a take on this? Yeah. Well, also when you say WAN, do you mean internet or do you mean WAN as site to site and not necessarily internet? And so I think both. the answer is it depends really, yeah. but yeah. yeah. It all depends. And but so, you know, there's things like performance hubs out of Equinix and whatever. So depending on where your data center is, you can suddenly have connectivity to cloud. So if you're at if you're at a uh, if your data center is co-located at Equinix or some some of these other places that have these hearing arrangements already, you can have great speed to your cloud. You know, 10 gigs possible because mm -hmm. there's no um, cost in term. It's just port cost. It's not distance cost. What's driving a lot of the um, the slowness maybe in the bandwidth increases is the price because it costs a lot of money if you're in Podunk, Utah and you want to connect into New York City or uh, price by mile. So you have to figure out the trade off between what do you get and, you know, everyone wants infinite bandwidth or you would like it like your land. Um, but reality, what do you really need? And I think my customers, it, they vary depending on the hospital, government, etc. cetera. Um, some, Government agencies in D.C. have 10 gig links between their data centers. And they do that because they put in private fiber and they put on the ends and they can afford it. Um, but that's sort of a point to point or a pair between sites. Um, the rate increasing, yeah, I mean, we'll be getting to 10 gig. But again, it's like, can we, can we afford it and can we get the return for it? Does that help? Yeah, you guys are echoing the exact experience. I've had it varies so widely by what's available in your market. Um, if you've got private fiber, if you don't, who the local players are, what uh, kind of points you're trying to interconnect. And, you know, the average is certainly hundreds. Um, a lot of times I'm seeing gig gigabit handoffs with, you know, something fractional underneath their throttling and you just kind of uh, turn on more bandwidth as you need it. You know, they give you a cost break. Um, 10 gig, a little, little more rare and a little more expensive or a lot more expensive, all depending, uh, of course. Um, actually, as sort of listening to the, to the conversation, I was thinking even um, SD, things like SD-WAN might, uh, might change what you're going to do on the, on the private side or, or on the public side, too. So um, I've also seen where, uh, you know, depending on, uh, is it in your data center, the, the traffic requirements are obviously going to be going to change. So your east-west traffic is going to be a bit different than what you would for your, for your north-south stuff. So, yeah, it's... I think I'd end up echoing just about what everybody else says is that there's, you've got to know the application. You got to know your traffic flows to, and make a, make a good decision based on, on what you would expect your growths to be. Anyone happen to work with manufacturing specifically and have any comments? I, I haven't, I don't know if any of you have. So I did um, a couple of, of uh, employers ago, I worked for a medical manufacturer and, um, I think most of our circuits weren't weren't very large. They may have been maybe 15 meg on a on an MPLS circuit, and uh, we do 10 gigs between between data centers. And um, we weren't making those uh, those circuits sweat at all. There's just there wasn't a lot of data going back and forth, right? There was um, there was email and and voice. So 
it's it's just those things where you again it's the application and i think i think businesses are getting into this to this uh this i don't know this trend of let's throw bandwidth at a at a at a solution or at a problem because it's because it's inexpensive and and if you can get a gig for a hundred dollars a month but you only need five meg why not yeah why not get the gig right yeah, yeah. Some of it also depends on location. I have a customer that's um, an energy company in the um, Gulf of Mexico area. And so they have platforms out in the, <laughs> in the sea. And they can only do radio and microwave to them. But between their data center and their headquarters, they have 10 gigs. So you figure out what's appropriate for each location and what each location can afford. And so other manufacturing sites I know it depends on does corporate pay for the for the bandwidth there and have a standard that everyone must meet or does everyone individual business unit who makes a profit loss decision decide yeah i can afford it yeah i need it blah 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 and so these are increasing but a lot of it is really cost driven and so it will be interesting to see where things like sd-wan and others will take us yeah sd-wan is changing that market dynamic somewhat it's also forcing carriers to either come up with a more competitive offering um, uh, or you know, just drop pricing on private circuits uh, as well. They've, they've been reacting to that cost pressure of people buying a, a cheaper broadband internet circuit because they get the bandwidth and it performs well enough for their specific application. And uh, then using SD-WAN uh, quality measurements over the top is giving them the application performance characteristics that they need, you know, the SLAs. Um, and so on, you know, increasingly, you know, of all the pitches that we get at Packet Pushers, SD-WAN is still a hot one where some carrier or another is offering some new SD-WAN service and you know, with varying levels of success, uh, how well people are, or how many people are adopting their service, but it is part of the equation of getting more bandwidth out of your carrier. Um, so, you know, the person that asked this question, um, it's an, it's a classic. It depends, uh, sort of a thing. There's, you know, the, the 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 drivers are always so unique to the business, and then, um, you know, the averages that are out there. I mean, I'm not sure if you're fighting, you know, someone within your organization who doesn't want to upgrade for because reasons, or you know, but you, if you can demonstrate the need, I mean, that's that's a measurement you can take. You should be able to demonstrate to the business that you need more if that's the sort of a a battle, but. Uh, going back to what's typically happening across uh, all of us that are running WANs, it's, uh, you know, more is better. Prices are coming down. Get as much as you can within your budget, uh, for sure, is what people are, what people are typically doing.